everyone, it's Laura from the blog ArtWillieHouse.com and today I'm going to show you how to make homemade mothballs. So as the months warm up, they are putting things into storage like maybe some big comforters or blankets or just some special linens, winter clothes, all the things. And we wanna make sure that they're not getting destroyed by any insects or moths or mice or anything like that. So I remember as a kid, my mom using mothballs, like having them in the back of our dressers. We grew up in an old farmhouse, and so I guess we probably had more of a problem than maybe you would if you lived in a more modern home because in an old farmhouse, you know, there's more ways for things to get in. We lived in a very old farmhouse, over 100 years old. These mothballs, instead of being made with any type of chemicals that would be harmful, are all made just out of herbs and essential oils. For this recipe, you're going to need a little bag like this. This is a little mesh bag, something that is breathable. I like the fact that it has a drawstring just to kind of hold things in, but we don't want it to be sealed completely because we want the scent to come out. So something that is mesh or sheer like this is nice, or even a muslin cotton bag would work. So I have a couple different options linked down in the description box and one similar to the one that I have here. We're gonna be using six different ingredients here and six essential oils. So I have some like lavender bud, clove bud, I have thyme, all this is dried, rosemary and also some peppermint leaves, dried peppermint leaves, and then I have some cinnamon sticks. So depending on the size bag that you choose will depend on how many herbs you're going to put in, but you're gonna do equal parts of each of these. I'm just gonna do about a tablespoon of each herb and put it into my bag. So that was my lavender, I have some clove buds, I also have some thyme, and rosemary and some peppermint leaves. Now, this doesn't just work for repelling moths, but it also helps to encourage them from breeding in your clothing and belongings. And it also can repel mice and snakes, other rodents, other insects, all kinds of things. So these are kind of fun to have around. And then I'm going to put a cinnamon stick here on top in this as well that I'll just kind of put in. And then to make this even more potent, I'm going to add in some essential oils. So I have all the same essential oils that I just put into here. So I'm just gonna put about five drops of each one. I have some rosemary, lavender, clove bud, thyme, peppermint, and cinnamon. And I'm just gonna drop them right on top of the dry herbs. Move it around a little bit to kind of get it all mixed together. And we're gonna stick our cinnamon stick in here and then pull your drawstring tight around it so nothing spills out. And there you have a homemade moth ball or bag. When you go to use these, you can just set these in a in the back of a dresser. Um, they are commonly placed in closets or in the storage bin that you're storing your belongings in. Now, if you already have an issue in your home, you might wanna use two or three in one spot. If you're just preventing, you can just put one in one spot. But I like using these because they're a little bit safer because they're made with essential oils and herbs rather than any type of chemicals. A lot of those mothballs, if a pet or a child would get a hold of them, that would be very dangerous. And so it's a lot better to be using some natural ingredients and it still has that really strong scent of all the things that moths and insects don't like. Peppermint also works really well for spiders and repelling that. So making these and just setting them in the corner of your basement is going to be helpful for things like that as well. So easy, easy recipe. I have everything here that I use linked down in the description box below if you need to know where to get it from. While you're down in my description box, be sure to check out all of my eBooks down there. And I also have a free online class showing the different ways that we use essential oils here in my home. If this is your first time by my channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every week on essential oil education, natural remedies, and healthy recipes. Thank you so much for stopping by Art Willie House.